Well, Sophie and Dan have teamed up, and together they're going to show us the health benefits and the science behind kombucha. Yes. Right? So... What well, did you get well, Dan into? You yeah. know what? I was, can I just say, I was what? so excited about us working together that I created a little jingle. Oh, oh no. Here it is. No. 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 and Dan show. Uh, oh, no. that's, that's not what we agreed on. Yeah. What? I think, I think we've got another one. We agreed on something different. It was... Welcome to the Dan and Sophie Show. No, no. Hi. Moving along with the Sophie and Dan show, um, let's get started, shall we? All right. <laughs> Again, Sophie. what did you get him into? What did I bring? <laughs> what did you bring today, Sophie? Okay, so what I bought was kombucha. These are bottles of kombucha that you'll typically find at every grocery store across the country. It's become a trending drink. What is and it? And you have it in front of you right now. Why don't you have a taste? Well, what is it? Oh, kombucha is basically a fermented tea. And Dan's going to get oh, into that. Dan, the science that. man, is going to get into that in a second. It's just, all I can say, it looks like a stoplight to me. And I <laughs> it does. It really does. I'm just saying. What do you think, guys? It tastes I love it. sweeter than yeah. I thought. Yes, that's yeah. lovely. This says stop. But carbonated. <laughs> it's, car it's naturally fizzy. What are these little caviar things? Yeah, that's, like that's chia. 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 So health benefits. Okay, yes. All right. All right, health benefits. So first off, I have to say, and I know uh, Dan agrees with me, yeah. that there are really overblown claims that you'll read all across the internet mm. about kombucha. Mm. Anything from it completely do detoxifies you if you're sick to Digest. it cures HIV and cancer and yeah. whatnot. Not true. However, mm. These drinks do contain prebiotics, which support gut-friendly bacteria, so that'll be good for some of our family members, <laughs> right? And, um, wow, we reveal a lot on this show about ourselves, don't we? <laughs> and also, um, it contains uh, probiotics and B vitamins. So it's, mm. I think it's a really great... Is that all in one, or is it like if you want your pro B or your probiotics, it's in one? If it's you want all, all in one drink. drink. Oh, and Dan, fantastic. the science man, is going to explain how these probiotics are created, right? Indeed. So actually, the word kombucha has some murky origins, but the name really comes from a Russian drink called chenegrip, which means uh, mushroom tea or fungus tea. Ooh. And that oh. fungus specifically is called a scoby. <gasps> This Ew. is my SCOBY. Ew. SCOBY is a Does symbiotic... That form? You should see yeah. a doctor about It's that. a symbiotic <laughs> colony of bacteria and yeast. Now, what's really interesting about this is this is the thing that actually ferments your tea. You need this in the tea to make kombucha. And the, and the way it works is that when you make black tea, you brew black tea and you put sugar in it. Now, the yeast consumes the sugar and produces alcohol, and then the bacteria oxidizes that alcohol and turns it into vinegar. And that's what you're tasting. It looks like a spleen. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to Dan, you could put it on your head like a little fascinator. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. thank you. Actually, in an effort to reuse these a lot of times, this is the material that's used for vegan leather products. It's very tough, it's very sustainable. Huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. It's quite tough. Are we, are we really fighting over this? Yeah. Yes, we're really fighting over this. <laughs> now, the way you make kombucha is very easy. You're going to, now, we're not advising you to make this at home because actually some things can go wrong. The best kombucha like, for you to like buy what? is actually what could go maybe wrong? Yeah. Looks like it already did. Yeah, well, <laughs> so the kombucha you buy at stores has been pasteurized. It's definitely, definitely clean and safe to drink. The one that you make at home, here's how it works you take black tea, and I'm using black tea instead of fruit tea because black tea has no antibacterial qualities. Some fruits and herbs yeah, that you yeah. know of yes. actually are antibacterial which is amazing, but that will kill your SCOBY. Secondly, we're going to sweeten that tea. And you can use any sugar. I use, I use plain old white sugar, and for every gallon, I use about one and a half cups. And that sounds like a ton of sugar. Yeah. But what's actually happening here is the sugar's not for you. The sugar is for the yeast. You are feeding this colony of yeast and bacteria. So there's not a lot of sugar left in it because the, the yeast eats that sugar and produces alcohol. Now, I know you, you know some of these are, have a, a minor alcohol yes, content. Yes, it's good for you to know at home that all kombuchas, even the ones that you get at the store, have a trace amount of alcohol, but it's less than 0.5%. So you're okay with that, probably most okay. people. Now, after that, the bacteria takes that alcohol and it, it oxidizes it into vinegar. And you really you let it sit for about 10 to 14 days. And what you have here is a fermented tea, much in the style of pickles and kimchi. Fermented mm -hmm. foods go, are, come from around the world, and they're very good, and they're very good for gut health. Is that correct? Very, very good. It's a prebiotic. Yeah, good bacteria feeds on that. So that's called the first fermentation. Now, after that, if you put it in the refrigerator, everything stops, and you're good to go. But if you do a secondary fermentation, listen. 
Yeah. Ah, all yeah. of a sudden. Sorry, Kim, Sounds like Mark. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> that, sec oh my gosh. that secondary <laughs> fermentation allows some carbon dioxide to build up because that bacteria produces <laughs> CO2 once it uh, oxidizes things. And the uh, carbon dioxide is diffused into the liquid, and then you have a carbonated drink, which I think is what you're tasting. Is this daily? That's right. Is this daily consumption? Yes, you can. You, you a little bit every little day. Bit. So start off with maybe just quarter of a cup, and you yeah. work yourself. I like the up. green one the best. It was. Yeah. I liked it. All. I think it's wonderful. Information is available on our website. Please check that out. We're going to come back and we're going to go to far end of the counter and catch up with Orly. Guys, I've got the most practical solution for that too short dress. Coming up next.